New tonight at 6, the state of Texas just had its largest day for coronavirus cases since the pandemic, shattering yesterday's single day record for new COVID-19 cases. As cases soar, we have the latest on your screen right here. Statewide, we have surpassed 210,000. And back here at home, health officials are reporting more than 7,000 cases across East Texas. KETK's Trent Bennett joins us now. Trent, these numbers are expected to grow even more. Yes, Casey, and it feels like a flashback to the earlier days of this pandemic, and I've got some numbers for you. Just yesterday, Smith County right here at the bottom went from 840 cases to 1,098, but you don't see that number yet. That's 250, and in a single day, these numbers are changing as we speak. Another 66 added to Smith County. That brings the total to 1,164. Angelina County, nearly 70 cases in a single day. And look at Henderson County. This is not a typo, folks. From 168 on July 5th, the last report, all the way to 968 cases. That's 800 in a single day. If you're like most, you're probably thinking, how is this possible if everyone's wearing a mask? Is it due to what some are saying are relaxed rules since reopening? Or is it because large crowds of beachgoers or 4th of July celebrations? Well, according to Governor Abbott and his strike force team, this is not a direct correlation to last week's mandate. Instead, it's a combination of backed up lab results just coming in and folks who have not been taking this order seriously until recently. The increase in cases we see now are the kinds of behaviors that were reflected 10 days to two weeks ago. And so, you know, we're, we're, we're going to prepare ourselves for a very busy July in terms of increasing number of cases and increasing number of people that require hospitalization. Um, I think on the other side of July, we're going to see a much better time. Dr. Zerwaz says all areas of Texas are hot spots, but they're not sounding the alarm just yet on hospital capacity. He also said that if you're not getting your test result within a few days, your lab is not caught up with the state standards. If you're going to go get a test, the state implores you to ask simply, how long is this going to take so I know if I'm positive or not, so that numbers like we just show you start to slow down. Reporting live in the studio, Trent Bennett, KETK News.